Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how we took our stairs from this to this. Check it out. First things first, we had to get that carpet off of the stairs. As you can see, this was easier said than done, but uh, we managed to get it off. I decided to film these last few steps just so that you could get a sense of what it might take if you're trying to get carpets off of your stairs. Removing carpet is not for the faint of heart and be sure to have a vacuum cleaner nearby because you will be throwing around a bit of dust. Underneath the carpet, you'll see tack strips that held the carpet down and you'll also see padding that is stapled to the steps. Now here I'm removing the padding, but again, you'll have more dirt to contend with. So if you just peel it from one side to the next, you might make a mess. So be sure to pick it up from both ends. And yes, I'm vacuuming again. <laughs> Next to remove these tack strips. Some of them came up really easily. Some of them fell apart. It just depends on what shape they're in. Some of them I could remove the staples afterwards, but some of them I had to remove before because they were in the way of the crowbar. If you're liking this so far and you wanna stick around for future projects, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see all of our future videos. There is an easier way to do this, to remove the staples, but I'm very, very meticulous, so I wanted to make sure I got each and every one and I did not want to break them off and leave them in the wood. I wanted to be sure to get them out, so this process worked for me. If there's a better way that works for you, let me know in the comments. So here I am just working my way down. I have all the carpet and padding removed. Now I'm just getting rid of the remaining tack strips and staples. And there's Benny. Let's see if Benny's gonna help me or if he's just gonna watch. Just gonna watch. All right, let's get to it. Thank you. 
so patient. We're gonna go play. Oh yeah, we're gonna go play. As soon as I'm done with these last three steps, okay? Benny did get a nice romp outside after this. It was good for both of us. So as you can see, some of these tack strips did fall apart, but they all managed to come up pretty easily in the end. And here we go. These stairs are ready for treads and risers. This is what they looked like before, and here they are now. The treads have arrived. Excuse me. So my sweetie made a really cool stair jigamabobber and he was able to measure the exact dimensions and shape of each space for the treads and risers. And then he measured each tread and riser and cut them to size and numbered them according to which step they would fit on. It was actually a really neat idea. We saw some of these online, but they were really expensive, so he just made one himself. And we cut them to size prior to staining so that we didn't use any stain that we didn't need. Looks like a fit. Here's his numbering system. Time for staining. I'm not too worried about the floor. I am cleaning it here so that dust doesn't stick to the treads, but I knew we were going to refinish these floors, as you can see here, so I didn't worry about getting any stain on them. Gotta move these. I traced over each number so that I could see it better in case any stain got over top of it. Time for staining! You'll notice I'm not wearing gloves here, but don't worry, I learned my lesson. This little piece is the trim that will go on the side of the very first step because it extends past the wall. All done. Time to dry. Now it's time for polyurethane. 
Got my gloves. These shots are so relaxing and it was such a nice peaceful day. I'm just gonna let some of these shots just ride. I'll time lapse some of this, but really a lot of it is relaxing and I just want to share that with you. Enjoy. Each tread got two coats of stain and two coats of polyurethane. Now while those dry, I need to paint the wall on either side of where the treads and risers are going to go. And if you're going to paint where your stairs are, it's a really good idea to do it at this point so that you don't have to paint around your brand new treads and risers. For this job though, who knows what tool you need, right? Because you just can't reach all the way up the wall. So for this job, I need Mr. Longarm. If you don't want to watch the painting portion of this video and you want to jump right back into the treads and risers, then skip to this timestamp. And you can see the floor here in the upstairs hallway just at the top of the stairs. We also removed the carpet up there and we're putting down vinyl plank flooring. And we ended up putting a couple layers of polyurethane on there afterwards. And I'll show you how that turned out at the end of this video.
Here comes Mr. Longarm to the rescue. As you can see at the very top where the wall meets the ceiling, I could not find a way to cut in there at the very top. So honestly, at this point, I just decided to get as close as I could and leave it. I really didn't want to rig up some homemade scaffolding on ladders and plywood. I just, I had seen it done before and I knew that it could be done safely, but I just wanted to just keep my feet firmly on the ground. So I got as close as I could and you know what? It looks okay. Okay. So if you're fretting over a similar project at home, it's okay. You know what? You could get some professionals to come in and do it safely, or you could just get as close as you can and just know that your stairs are gonna look so good that no one's gonna be looking up. They're gonna be looking at your steps going, ooh, these look amazing, good job. Now it's time to coat the risers with some polyurethane. These also got a couple coats, and this is to protect against scuff marks. Okay, treads and risers going on. Now we had a pretty good system here. My husband worked his way up the steps one at a time and I handed him the boards in order as he numbered them. One step at a time we are getting this done and it's really starting to look good. And here they are, our refinished steps. They went from old dirty carpet that you could see tread marks on to this, hand stained pine treads. Here's how the hallway turned out. And here are the stairs. And that's how it's done, or at least that's how we did it. If you retreaded your stairs or refinished them, if you took them from hardwood to carpeting, vinyl, or the other way around, let me know in the comments and let me know how it turned out. Stick around if you want to see any future projects for this channel. And thanks again for watching. Leave a comment if you like and have a great 2021.